The only way I can make sure those divisions are well supplied is I have to build a rail line from the near Leningrad all the way up a, the border between Russia and Finland. All right. Well, but we then I see all now. these numbers. <laughs> oh. Yes, we're, we're live now. Uh, for those who might have joined in that don't know what's going on we are now doing 30 minutes before the actual stream of nation states where we can go through and do issues to change our combined nation uh so pickle if you wanted to vote you would just have to go to uh my stream and you'll be able to vote from there if not doesn't matter uh let's see if i remember my damn <laughs> Twitch info. <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be through the uh, polls on Twitch, essentially. Oh, wait, I'm still signed in. Puggers. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, for our first one, we've got Sizen's struggle under unfair tax burden. Sounds like some commie shit. <laughs> kind of backwards, but y you know. Uh, okay, so a recent poll has revealed high levels of dissatisfaction among the populace about tax rates. First option, do you know how much of my year's work goes to the government, demands angry worker Nat Natalia Powell. Too much. Government spending has gotten way out of control. It needs big cuts in welfare, health, and education. But leave those subsidies to business alone. We need them to create jobs. Oh, Kaiser once dragged up, but sounds... Oh, god damn it. Why'd he go to the very fucking bottom? <laughs> I think that was revenge for... <laughs> My ears. You made it more difficult to drag you up, bastard. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, was probably, that was probably revenge for pinging him earlier. <laughs> well, I'm currently reading off the first issue. Uh, essentially, citizens uh, believe that we're under unfair tax burden. The first person wants to drop pay into welfare, health, and education, but leave the subsidies for business, because we need them to create jobs. I Second the option. The stream oh. server didn't have a uh, any private sector. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, for the second one, it's not the amount of tax; it's where the burden falls," says student activist Tyrion Williams. And at the moment, far too much of the burden is falling on the poor. Uh, people on high incomes still have more money than people on low incomes. I don't think I need to say anything more than that. And the third option, I don't object to the amount of tax. I object where it's being spent, says social reformer Brian Douglas. I'd like to see everyone have a choice as to where their hydrocoins go every time they fill out a tax return. Everyone would feel a lot better about opening their wallets if they had a say as to where the money went. I think you'd see a lot more public money going to education and a lot less to business. All right, so time to set up the pool for that. <laughs> oh, of course, that's too long for the pull. Oh, well, it, it's enough on there that it will be understood. Starting the pull now. <laughs> so 
so far we've got a 50-50 split. I mean, I think there's an objectively wrong answer here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, I've, I've, t I've fixed the split. No, that's unacceptable. <laughs> oh, I see an Austin. I wonder if he's wanting dragged up. He has not pinged me. Should I just yoink him, or should I leave him? Mm. Yoink. <laughs> nah, he's stinky. <laughs> you know, fair enough. Just wait until he actually says something. <laughs> All right, leave so... him. Oh, we'll leave what? him down there until the last second. <laughs> All right, so as has the poll won, we are sending more money to business and cutting taxes towards welfare, health, and education. We don't need education. <laughs> no, we don't need welfare. <laughs> the government is reining in public spending. Group returning home from natural, natural disaster struck by a second natural disaster. Closure of outreach program leaves some in limbo. Newspapers shed staff. Fans reel at sports champion reveal a uh, personal flaw. Oh, as sports... Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so the biggest up change is average disposable income, so more people are keeping their income. The worst change is our scientific advancement has dropped considerably. <laughs> of course, we dropped welfare, which is poggers. <laughs> I think the only thing that we have successfully done so far is make scientific advancement nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's just the overview there. Okay, so it actually shows more. Oh, fuck. So we've just been looking at the overview, and here there's bigger things changing. Freedom from taxation went up crazy. Black market also went up. <laughs> well, shit. Increase taxes to be petty. <laughs> All right, now for the fun one. Police consider Big Brother anti-crime system. <laughs> oh, hey, Josh. <laughs> yes, I love the reference. Uh, and yes, we are already so low in science. All right, the de the cannot speak. Fuck. The police department is considering installing surveillance cameras in all major public areas in an effort to crack down on crime. First option: This is blatant invasion of right of the right to privacy, says libertarian website operator Jamal Shongwe. Now we can't even go out in public anymore without being watched, and you know this is just the beginning. Today there are cameras in the city streets. Tomorrow, they're peering through your bedroom window. Second option. Hey, I've got news for you, says police media liaison uh, Moxie Bennett. When you're out in public, people can see you. These cameras will be extremely helpful in reducing the national crime rate. Frankly, I can't see what the fuss is about. And third option. This slippery slope argument has got me thinking says Police Minister Tom Tomo Griffin. You know, it would be a lot easier to fight crime if we watched people all the time. Not with cameras, of course. That's clearly an invasion of privacy. But how about a national database of our citizens, coupled with compulsory ID cards and barcoding? It would stop crime dead in its tracks. <laughs> so this one, I'm not going to bother writing it out as much. I'm just going to do it as, like, option one, two, and three. You know, it's very funny. We had a, uh, a very similar thing, if not this exact problem, in, uh, in the Swamplands. 
Uh, there's only two options. Oh, okay, now to the third. <laughs> I was gonna say what? <laughs> I don't know why it, it only showed two options for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair though, the option it wasn't showing was the uh, the dumb option. So. Oh God! Right now, it's currently landslide towards <laughs> the police state. <laughs> <laughs> Look, sometimes you just need a little bit of uh, help from your neighbor <laughs> <laughs> and uh, be a little uh, propagandized to, to think like them. <laughs> <laughs> and almost there. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> I see you trying to insure it. <laughs> that was on me, actually. Well, somebody. <laughs> it People doesn't are on my trip. I'm going points. soft. Weird. What'd you say? People are wising up to my tricks. I'm growing too soft. It's time to go hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <woo. laughs> All right, so we'll be going with number three. Talking point. Citizens are barcoded to keep track of their movements. <laughs> oh no. Our civil rights have fell from average to some. <laughs> and recent headlines. Jobless numbers grow. Family groups support drug crackdown. Group returning home from natural disaster struck by a second natural disaster. Two times already. Huh. <laughs> Government initiative unusual, but good, experts say. Oh. oh, we've got the listening in uh, banner now. <laughs> All right, so the main thing that went up is gambling. <laughs> the uh, the overview one, though, is authoritarianism, which makes more sense. All right, you want to know why that was a mistake? Tourism. Our tourism went up by 8%. That's unacceptable. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Y'all are fools. Should have followed me. <laughs> Our black market's gone down, civil rights have gone down, and nudity has gone down again. Also, our intelligence has gone down. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> probably stopping free thought because you're constantly being watched. That's probably the idea behind it. I received trading cards? What? Yeah, I don't know what the hell those are. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> uh, I saw a little bit about it. So it looks like every few years they do this thing where people involved can get their nation put onto the cards. I don't know the point of them, though. All right. Oh, we actually have a second one now because I turned off the throttle for this. I'm going to leave the f new fun one for last. We're going to do Lost at Sea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Josh said more stuff. Ah. <laughs> He's mentioning you being hard. <laughs> oh, God, there's four options. Yep. The Issue. Years have passed since the failed search for the missing yacht adventurer, which was reported lost with all hands, came to an end. Ah, uh, now it has finally been found, locked in pack ice in the ocean around northern Broncoland. Nautical enthusiasts are asking how to prevent this from happening again. Number one. Obviously, we need to have all recreational vessels create and submit a travel plan to my office before they leave port, suggests your maritime minister, Ada Cook, as she places a map of coastal Nevrain Dominion on your desk. If they transmit a distress call, we'll send out rescue teams to search for them. They, sh they would have to pay a small fee to cover uh, expenses, but it will be worth it for everyone's safety. Number two. Then we could spend hours looking for them, sarcastically remarks your technology minister, Dwayne Kelly, as he rips up the map and replaces it with a new globe. 
equip every vessel with radar and, a, and the latest GPS systems. We'll monitor them from new tracking stations built all along the coastline. Then we can send out our rescue teams directly to them. The Coast Guard has been underfunded for years. I'm sure they would, would appreciate all these fancy new toys. Number three. Everyone knows that you'll reach the Great Ice Wall if you sail too far, exclaims fervent flat earther, Journey Rhodes, while trying to flatten uh, your new globe with a rolling pin. <laughs> it would be too much hassle to uh, either way to track all these boats, especially when the solution is obvious. Ban all recreational boating. If no one sails, no one will get trapped in ice. And number four. Avast! Ye government knaves have no right to dictate where me and my me hearties travel, shouts suspected pirate Edward Teach. I love that they literally just used a pirate name. <laughs> yeah. As he barges into your office and impales the remains of your globe with his cutlass. The Hammy's Revenge. God damn it, they named it after the stick animal. All right, All right no, I already know who wins. <laughs> <laughs> the Hammy's Revenge shall sail wherever she pleases. Ye land lubbin' government scallywags must get all of, get rid of all restrictions on freedom of navigation in your territorial waters, or you'll be walking the plank. <laughs> this one's more fun than I thought it was going to be. He, he's, he makes a compelling argument. <laughs> Oh no. There we go. And let the polls begin. Boats. <laughs> Somehow I knew at least one person was going to vote for the flat earth. <laughs> Look, there's only one correct option. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just realized I didn't have the music playing. Damn. Josh says he's not seeing it. Uh, you've got like 10 seconds. You might want to refresh. <laughs> 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 Let's just make sure that the correct one goes through. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no shenanigans this time. This one's important. <laughs> well, thank you for the uh, prime sub, Josh. Hello, Mr. Kitten. <laughs> All right. It looks like Hammy's Revenge gets to sail wherever he be. <laughs> The funny thing is the name that they chose for the pirate. <laughs> Edward Teach? Yeah, that that's Blackbeard. <laughs> I know. That's why I said I love that they actually chose a real pirate's name. <laughs> now, I guess I gotta go change it again, but I had actually ch fixed the uh, people name last night. I guess it didn't save. <laughs> Ships no longer sail as no one wants to encounter Navranian pirates. <laughs> Recent headlines. Yeah. Swashbuckling adventure on oh. high seas as Nevranian as a uh, Nevrain Dominion turns pirate. Nevrain Dominion more chill than ever before. Yeah, we're a pirate republic now. Nice. I guess. <laughs> so, all right, I'm back. So Kaiser, well, the I, I was telling this to Julian. The fact that that flash flashes the holder is the dumbest bullshit. Because I like handheld flashes like that, they exist. And they're explicitly designed so they don't fucking do that. <laughs> Naked people protesting something again. Yeah, Woman dies in elevator shaft mishap. And civil rights activists. Now we're getting somewhere. As we let pirates into the ocean, that makes sense. <laughs> don't we? we got a new uh, banner thanks to the scurvy dogs. You know what? Yeah, it's important. 
Civil white rights goes up, nudity goes up, intelligence goes up. <laughs> uh, our trout fishing has dropped dramatically, and tourism goes down. <laughs> All right, we got one last issue to take care of. Nazi sympathizers playing rally. I'll let him be. <laughs> Far right wing Nazi supporters plan to stage a rally in the city center tomorrow, giving voice to their violent racist views. First option. Oh. <laughs> I just fucking heated in mid conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I just saw the ping. I see Steven got you. <laughs> yep. I pinged him as he was ready to come up. He said, beat me up, so I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I had to As say, I beam said, me up Stevie, because beam me up Scotty didn't work, because his name's Steve. <laughs> As I was saying, far-right-wing Nazi supporters plan to stage a rally in the city center tomorrow, giving voice to their violent racist views. Option one. Frankly, I'm appalled that the government can even consider allowing this travesty to go ahead, says prominent Jewish personality Oswald uh, Leach. <clears throat> we can't let these animals broadcast their message of hate. Surely Nevrain Dominion is too civilized for that. Second option. It's exactly because we're civilized that we must let the demonstration proceed, says free speech campaigner Vanna Santos. We may not like what they have to say, but in this society, people have the right to argue whatever their political view they want, no matter how hateful, selfish, or stupid it is. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I was gonna put Nazi rally question mark as the uh poll title and I was like, wait, Twitch probably won't let that happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. I might have another thing actually, because I think it's at like thirty minutes for my next one, yeah. And start poll. <laughs> do, 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 do. I don't know if there's a giveaway going on or what, but I don't know why I'm doing this, but fuck it. Doing what? <laughs> I'm doing marbles on stream and Billy Goat's stream right now. I see. <laughs> Uh, I love I love comments on RimWorld memes. You installed RimJob World because you were horny. I installed RimJob World to increase the options available to me for organ harvesting. We are not the same. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say for torture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the vote is almost in. Couple seconds and bada bing, bada boom. Obviously, the second option was chosen. Are we just going to become, a, like, a very democratic nation just because we're getting put into silly situations? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> That's how this shit happens. <laughs> the talking point. The tenet of free speech is held dear. Reclassification. Our civil rights have rose from some to below average. Uh, our political freedoms have rose from unheard of to few. Yeah, no, we're becoming more democratic because they're getting put into silly situations. <laughs> first, uh, first recent headline, sunscreen sales grow. What? <laughs> oh, my, oh no. It I know why. The sun. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> we allowed freedom for protesting. You know what that did, right? <laughs> We've got fucking nudists running around. <laughs> <laughs> oh. International observers applaud rising political freedom in Nevrain Dominion. Gender row, uh, af gender row after p person ejected from elevator. I don't understand what that says. <laughs> Box office cheers violent action heroes. Hell yeah! <laughs> and we got another new banner just for doing uh, issues. Political freedom goes way up. Intelligence Dang. goes up. Civil rights goes up. As I said, nudity has gone up. 
<laughs> oh god, tourism has gone up. What will we do? Oh no, we... Oh, then we might have made a mistake, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Corruption goes down. Authoritarianism goes down. Ideological radicality goes down somehow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, look. Another trading card pack. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, of course there's an anime check. <laughs> see okay so before we continue on we'll go ahead to the main page and check out where we're currently standing we're still a corrupt dictatorship civil rights are below average economy struggling and political freedom few our population has gone up to six million we are Dang. most know the what we actually got people <laughs> <laughs> I think it's mostly time based for it. Although I do think some things you do in the nation can affect the speed of it. Well, I mean there is like a little thing that like shows your death rate and your birth rate, I think. Um... Yeah. All right. So, we are a fledgling orderly nation notable for its compulsory military service, state planned economy, and stringent health and safety legislation. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Lar the large-scale, socially-minded government juggles the competing demands of spirituality, defense, and law and order. Average income tax rate is 63.5, and even higher for the wealthy. Our economy is worth about 122 billion hydrocoins per year. Most, uh, our, it's mostly driven by a co combination of government and state-owned industry. With private enterprise illegal. <laughs> uh, the industrial sector, which is fairly diversified, is led by the arms manufacturing industry. With significant contributions from cheese exports, uranium mining, and beef-based agriculture. Average income, 20,000 whatever hydro coins per year. And it's distributed e extremely evenly with practically no difference between the richest and poorest citizens. Oh, God, we're communist. <laughs> yes, and the last section is mostly about the stuff that we just put through. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Crime, especially youth-related, is totally unknown thanks to our police force. And our national animal is, of course, the hammy, which frolics freely in the nation's many lush forests. <laughs> uh, here, before I forget... Oh, look! I did change it! Oh! Okay, there's more underneath it. It's fucking dumb as shit. <laughs> But now you guys know that you have to click the question mark to change everything. I already knew that. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything else that you guys want to see before we switch over to Hoi 4? How bad's our science? Oh, God. We've got, yeah. like, five science decreases. <laughs> do 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 trend... Gotta go to... What's the proper name of it? Scientific Advancement. There it is. Oh my god, it is tanking, but we're at currently 15.49. I do need to add the other nations into this yet, but I can throw yours and elephants in. Right now, oh, good. <laughs> you're still the bottom. Hey, look, we're coming up. We discover nukes, and we're coming up. <laughs> Do woo. <laughs> it's okay. We're uh, the main nation is coming down to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Anything else, or is that it? Uh, that's all I cared about. <laughs> all right. So before I jump over, I'm going to end this recording so that it can be added to the. Uh, I guess the weekly update that I'm going to try and make for these, and then we'll jump over to Hoi 4.
for YouTube. Like, subscribe, do the thing, even though you're going to see a few more of these before the video ends. Haha. <laughs>